Okay, so I've logged into my account. I am going to go to create. And name it first. Share it. Go back. Find the tutorial. Should be in games. There it is. Watch the video. You can use Scratch to make a clicker game. Let's pick a sprite. I'll choose the balloon. Let's make it play a sound when I click it. To add a score, let's first create a variable called score. Now we can add the change variable block to our code. Click the green arrow to see this code again and explore what else you might add to your game. Okay, so click the green arrow. Pick a sprite. So the sprite is not here. We do not have Scratch Cat. We want the balloon. So let's just delete, add balloon. There we go. Next, play sound when clicked. So when this sprite is clicked, start sound pop. Notice that this is yellow, so we're going to be in the yellow or, I mean, sometimes this, the colors are hard to see, but that is an event block. When the sprite is clicked. And then we're looking for a purple, which is more pink and is sound, start sound pop. Okay, now let's just test it. Perfect. Next. Create a score variable. So watch it again. I'm in orange. I found new variable. I called it score. I'm in orange. It's variables. Make a variable. Call it score. Now it popped up there. I've made it. Next. When clicked, increase the score. So right now, nothing happens. The score is always zero. So I need to add this block, change score by one. Change, not set. Change, not my variable, score by one. Okay, now making it a bit more of a game. When the flag is clicked, we want the balloon, because that's what we're coding, to go to a random position and wait for one second. And then it's in a loop, so it's going to go to a new random position and wait for a second in a loop. Go to a new random position, wait for a second, and it is going to be in that loop for as long as the game is running. Okay, so we have an event. When the flag is clicked, we have a control forever go to is motion and wait so it doesn't move forever that's also in control wait one second okay let's hit so when the flag is clicked so we have to click the flag to make this start so now we are chasing the flag all right, if we wanted to make it harder, we could wait half a second and see how it's moving faster. If we wanted to make it harder, we could wait a quarter of a second. <laughs> that one would be a little much for me. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and reset that. I like half seconds. Okay, so you can do one second, you can do a half second, you can do a quarter, it's up to you. Next, change the balloon color. Okay, so let's look at it as a whole. When flag is clicked, forever change color effect by 25. 
go to random position and wait. We already have all of this except for the one change color. So we're not making all of this again. We're just going to add the change color right in there. Notice how it's yellow right now. That's because my game is still running. So let's go ahead and hit stop. Make everything calm down a little. All right, and find change color. So that's a look. And we are looking for not change size, but change color. We're going to put that first because that's what they did. Change color. Let's just see what else they have. Now you can look at what each of these are if you would like, but the assignment is change color by 25. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so now we've got it changing its looks as it moves around. Okay, keep on going. We've got two, usually the last one's a more, so I think we just have one more step. Reset score. Okay, so it's not much of a game if every single time it just keeps adding and adding and the points never go back. Well, part five is a lot harder. <laughs> points never go back to zero. So that's what we're going to do right now. When flag is clicked, set score to zero. Now they have this in a separate block. I like to keep things in as few amount of events as possible. So I am going to add the set score. Nope, oh, sorry, that was a variable. Set score. So remember the last time we used change because when something occurred, we wanted to increase the score. So add one. Now we want to, when the flag is click, reset it, not my variable, the score to zero. Okay, so watch when I hit the flag now, it goes back to zero. So this is all the tutorial asks you to do at this time. You're not currently at a game quite yet. I feel like there needs to be a point to it, like how many points to win or in how much time it takes to earn the points, but we're going to come back to that. So. For this assignment right now, we're going to just follow the tutorial exactly, and it's time to turn it in. Okay, so don't add to it today. So whenever you're done with the tutorial, as it states, we're going to go to the C project page. Instructions. So how do I make this start? If I'm sitting here like this, how do I make the game start? Press uh, flag to begin. Also in the instructions, what am I trying to do? Your goal is to click the balloon to add points. Now, eventually there might be a bigger goal than that, but right now it's just catch the balloon. Notes and credit. This is a scratch to tutorial. All right, I mentioned this part right here in the video. It still says unshared. We know that I shared it a long time ago. I can do this where I just hit refresh and cross my fingers that it works. No, look, okay, for some reason that works. I don't really know why, but at least that's comforting to know it's shared there. I have my instructions. I have, oh, my notes and credits didn't save. So let's do that. This is a scratch tutorial. All right, copy link. Copy link, it's in my clipboard, head back to Google Classroom and submit that link. 